Hello, I'm Ethan Burks. Indiana's COVID-19 public health crisis isn't over just yet. Governor Eric Holcomb extended the emergency declaration to the end of July. That extension will ensure Indiana remains eligible for federal emergency benefits, including food stamps and welfare. The latest order will also continue to expand the list of people who can provide COVID-19 vaccinations, which includes EMTs, trained National Guardsmen, and medical assistants. Today marks the date when most new laws passed this year by the Indiana General Assembly take effect. This includes several measures reacting to events from last year. 2020 brought louder calls for justice reform, and Indiana lawmakers responded by approving landmark police reform legislation. Starting today, that requires all police to undergo de-escalation training and makes it easier for the state to decertify officers who commit misconduct. The protests over police brutality also prompted Republicans to pass a law that requires state police and local governments to prioritize the protection of monuments and statues. Crops in southern Indiana are falling behind schedule due to recently heavy rainfall and flooding. Purdue Extension corn specialist Dan Quinn says it is not economical to replant corn now because farmers will not have enough time to harvest it before the first frost this fall. He says the Monroe County area is experiencing the most damage in other regions where the corn is already chest high should be able to withstand flooding. Overall though, Indiana's crop ratings remain high. And for tonight's weather forecast, it's a low of 57 degrees with a 20% chance of rain showers. And then tomorrow it is sunny and 78 degrees, sunny and 80 degrees on Saturday, and then sunny and 87 on Sunday for the 4th of July. For more news, be sure to check us out online at WTIUnews.org. Good night.